What's up guys, Double Drilled here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the most money per mission on Payday 2. So this is probably the best mission you can do. It's the Ukraine job for Vlad. And if you're a low level and you pretty much want to get as much money as you can, as fast as you can, so you can start unlocking your guns and yeah, get through the missions as fast as you can just so you can actually pick out a card as well. Maybe unlock a new mask, paint job or weapon attachment. Do this mission. Really it is incredibly fast. If you get a good team, someone who specializes in the satchel charges, they can easily blow up in the vault. Anyway, and the concept behind this mission is you need to steal uh, a tiara, which is very Don't simple from the jewelry store. Okay, so right. if you have a teammate who is actually probably about level 40 some, and they've specialized into the satchel charges, they should easily blow that safe within 10 seconds. And you'll see here in this video, I joined the random game and I decided I would do a video on this, sort of, I don't really want to say it's a strategy because I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it. If you've played the game long enough, you'd know, you know, how to do certain missions as fast as possible to get your payday. And this one was incredibly fast. We had one teammate we needed to rely on with the satchel charges and pretty much the guy in front of me prepared my mask and I followed him. I always like to go the back route as well, just because you could actually get in without being spotted, but I prefer to be a sneaky. As much as you can, try and stay stealth so the cops don't come. And as you can see here, he placed the satchel charge and it was off what, 10 seconds. I put a timer there, so we're up to 25 seconds. And what I'm quickly doing, since the mission's done and what my teammates are doing, we're quickly grabbing as much valuables as possible. And you don't want to mess around because if you fuck around too much on this mission, when you've got the tiara and you can possibly escape before the cops come, your van will move. It would need to get to a safer location so it can't get spotted. So you just have to wait an extra two to three minutes until it comes. So as you can see here from the payday, it is an extremely good job. You want to go for the missions which pay out 1,000, no, sorry, 1 million and 8,000 dollars. And you can see here how much you made. I made $79,000 in one minute, yeah, less than a minute, I'd say, for completing the actual mission. And to go through the whole stage of completing it and getting your XP in and choosing a card, it takes about one minute and 30 seconds. It's not long at all. It's 79000 You get your mark, color, weapon attachment, your weapon, whatever. You get done extremely quick. And here's another video of a longer way of doing it. So here's another strategy, you just go around the back or the front. Depending on your preference, if you don't have a guy with a satchel charge on your team, you just want to go in. It doesn't really matter. Just go in, command everyone to get down. You want to zip tight as many people as you can, just because they are your assets. The more people that are in the store, the less likely cops are probably going to come in to raid you. So what we're doing now is just pretty much stealing everything. It doesn't take it doesn't take much time to actually steal everything in the store. What you need to do is you need to go around the back, place your drills on those two vaults. Hopefully one of them has to have the Tierra, the first one that opened the door in the left room. But I've played this mission long enough to know that about 80% of the time the vault in the left room holds the Tierra. Most of the time, yes, but you can't always rely on it. You definitely do play a team for your girl. You know, if you've got a very bad team, you want to do it all yourself. They'll have to rely on you pretty much like my team here. We didn't put with Joe in the second one. And <clears throat> even still, Joe in the second one, but I pretty much cut the video. Because, you know, it does take about 2 minutes 20 seconds to get into the same video tape. So we got the Tierra here, so we, and I was just checking for extra cash in there. I was going to help my teammates out here. One of my teammates is almost dead. You want to pretty much come up together with your escape vehicle arrive. And don't mind my extremely bad accuracy. And as you can see, the escape vehicle is here, and I just cut it till when we're exiting. Sometimes when you scout out the store and everything, you find out like one of the sides of the building is locked off. So you want to make sure you go through the front entrance and don't waste time get caught up because that could result in you getting down and then you get a less cut of the payday. So my teammates are a little slow here, so I'm just going to try and pick off some enemies to fend off their firing at us. 
and while we're waiting for this one to make left. So with the long amount of rotation, it doesn't take too long, probably about 5 minutes maximum, but the quick route is definitely the best if you want one of your teammates has saddle charges because you could easily get in and out of him. Like you saw, it took me about 42 seconds to finish the whole mission without these menus here. And we still got a great payday, 79,000. This payday, I think it was about 94 or 84, something like that. It does help to, you know, gather up all the jewelry and uh, carry it out and everything. But it's not that much of an effort and it takes about four minutes longer. But, you know, it's all up to you. If you have a teammate with satchel charges, you and him should just pretty much run this. Run these missions constantly and then you will stack up as much money as possible, find all the masks, get all your weapon mods, and yeah, it's a lot better than the bank heist. Anyway guys, thank you for watching the video. Give it a like if you do.